this YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my week three previews and analysis. This video is for the game between the Atlanta Falcons and the Miami Dolphins. This game will be played down in Miami. The Dolphins 2-0 and with their home opener um, coming this week versus the Falcons. The Falcons coming in at 1-1 one and -one off of a win last week at home, a 31-24 win over the Rams. And, you know, the story of this game has to be the Atlanta injuries when you consider uh, they've lost Croy Be Beerman now for the year. Sean Witherspoon, a very vital part, probably the best player in that front seven on that defense, out for a minimum of eight weeks. You also have Steven Jackson miss today's game. And uh, Roddy White is still uh, hampered uh, by an injury that he should probably sit out a couple weeks, but he has this consecutive game streak that I think he wants to keep going, which is the underlying factor why he's playing a little bit hurt. Um, we'll see how much healthier he is this week as compared to last week, where it looks like looked like he was lagging a little bit. But still, with all those injuries, you know, you still have Matt Ryan. I think you get enough out of Jason Snelling and Jacquez Rogers, that combination, to sort of stem the tide for when Steven Jackson gets healthy. I mean, you still have Julio Jones, you still have Matt Ryan, you still have Tony Gonzalez, and again, you still have Harry Douglas on the slot, and as Roddy White uh, gets healthier, you still have that offense, um, which you think should be one of the best units in the league. Ryan with a very good game last week. You know, the question now remains, you know, how, how much does the loss of Beerman and Witherspoon uh, hurt that front seven here heading forward? You know, the Falcons are a team that's had injuries in the past. They've done very good with a kind of next man step up mentality, and that'll be tested uh, a, a lot today uh, when they go against uh, the Miami Dolphins, who start off 2-0 and with two wins on the road. And you have them establishing the running game a little bit more um, in their last game, rushing for over 100 yards when they really struggled in that department um, You know, in week one. You saw their offense play better when they developed a little bit of a running game. So can that running game get established here um, against a pretty banged up uh, Atlanta front seven. We'll see how that pans out. Can Ryan Tannehill keep on remaining consistent here? Threw for over 300 yards last last week. Got Mike Wallace a little bit more involved in the offense. That uh, Dolphins defense, look, the Falcons have had a little bit of trouble protecting Matt Ryan. You know, you have Sam Baker out for this game, too, the left tackle for Atlanta. You know, how does that, the shuffling of that offensive line, um, is that enable Cameron Wake and maybe a Deion Jordan uh, to get to the quarterback more? We'll see how that pans out. How does Brent Grimes match up against either Julio Jones or Roddy White, his former Falcons teammates? I think that's going to be a big determining factor in this game. I'm still not in love with that Dolphins secondary, although I really like um, their front seven. I like the additions of Wheeler and Ellerby and, of course, uh, Cameron Wake uh, rushing the quarterback, who's, you know, a bona fide all-pro. Um, I, you know, I'm going a little bit against the tide here. I know a lot of people are on the Dolphins this week because of the Falcons' injuries, but I look at the Falcons as being a clear step above anyone Miami's played so far this year. So I like for that step up in competition, the, the Falcons are going to be very focused on the road here against the Dolphins. I actually like Atlanta plus three on the road in Miami. I think sometimes we overthink this stuff. I think Atlanta is a team poised to make a Super Bowl run that's just going to be stemming the tide as they get their health guys healthy and back. And again, I just think this is the next step up in competition. I don't know if Tannehill is ready right now to go toe for toe with Matt Ryan because I think both the I think the Falcons will definitely put some points on the board. And I don't think that Dolphin running game will get going to the point where they can carry uh, that team. So I like this is more of a Matt Ryan pick over Ryan Tannehill. So Falcons plus three. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter at SNewsAnalysis. Guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I preview every game every week, and I recap every game every week. Thanks, as always, for listening, and have a great night.